So it all begins with the keynote here on the Tuesday for Intel, where they announced their new 10th generation Sunny Cove architecture, codenamed Ice Lake. And the details behind this was they were promising an 18% IPC increase compared to a previous generation Intel processor. But before we continue, I will say this video is sponsored by Intel. But on the back of announcing their 10th gen architecture, the true intentions of Intel came to light when they announced Project Athena 1.0. And this essentially focuses on battery life, but also having the power and responsiveness on all small form factor laptops. Here they're essentially promising Core i5 and i7 models with up to 4 cores and 8 threads, turboing up to 4.1 GHz. There's also the initiative of power savings itself. When the computer goes to sleep, it's in a sleep state that uses little to no power. And then on top of that, as soon as you hit a key or open the lid, it's ready to go back into where you left that state. Under devices coming out of this Project Athena, they are promising up to two-fold the graphics performance where they are displaying a Destiny 2 demo on an XPS 13 laptop running with 10th gen. And the frame rates were indeed smooth. This was the Iris Pro graphics with up to 64 execution units on board. Another thing with the 10th gen CPUs is that they're integrating Thunderbolt 3 onto the die itself and introducing Wi-Fi 6 chips, which are not only smaller and use less power than the predecessors, but are also a lot faster, allowing one gigabit internet connection transfers off this Wi-Fi device. Now the form factor and interaction is a big focus here too, offering ultra slim 2-in-1 clamshell type laptops as well as 12 to 15 inch at 1080p or better with touch displays. They've also got narrow bezels on all models coming out under a Project Athena and backlit keyboards and precision touchpads with pen support. Now I did manage to see the XPS 13 on display with a 10th gen CPU inside and it was indeed very responsive. Also in terms of Ice Lake and performance boost, they are focusing on AI and now we did see the Hollow Set demo on display in the Intel showroom and that was showing that you can integrate essentially video, other Skype calls and other video games into a whole professional set that you can then use for streaming with a new tech device. This is the same company that allows for broadcasting for professional television and they're now integrating that technology in conjunction with Intel on these 10th gen laptops. Now the AI itself is getting a 2.5 times boost and they were showing off some cool technology like active voice cancellation in the background of the person calling you. So you don't have to worry about having noise cancelling in your headphones, for example, if you're on a Skype conversation, because it will identify those noises in the background and then cancel them out in tandem. But the key player here is the Gen 11 graphics. They got some big changes allowing for 4K 60 HDR natively and billions of colors running off the Meteor engine. This is roughly two times faster than the previous generation and it can still play games whilst only using up to 15 watts of power. This is on the Iris Pro graphics graphics with up to 64 execution units available. Now besides Project Athena, in terms of Ice Lake, there will be 11 new SKUs ranging from the i3 series up to the i7, with again that same 4 core 8 threaded count with over 4 gigahertz of max frequency. The new Optane solutions were also announced, this is the M15 drives, which can then couple with a 2TB 5400 RPM drive for example, and give you faster speeds but also giving you a lot of storage, and especially if you're using a program like Premiere Pro all the time, or playing your your favorite video game a lot, this will help with those load times significantly. Though lastly, I did go through the showroom floor and saw some laptops from Asus, HP, Lenovo, Dell, and also Acer, and they were showing off some creator PCs, and in the case of Asus, they had the ZenBook Pro, which had two screens, and this was pretty incredible because you can multitask while you're on the go. And I think this really states Intel's initiative coming out of Computex, and that is focusing on mobile performance, where on the desktop side, they had the ninth generation CPUs, the 9900KS, and some other manufacturers like ASRock for example have refreshed some Z390s recently but that promises turbo speeds up to 5 gigahertz on all cores and that will be released later this year too. Anyway guys with that aside I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did then be sure to hit that like button for us also let us know in the comment section below what you think of the new Ice Lake CPUs as well as Project Athena and the new mobile creator PCs are you digging some of these designs or are you not love reading your thoughts and opinions as always and I'll catch you in another video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.